Hi guys, um, just thought I would come on and do a quick update since it's been a minute. Um, today is Friday, September 26th, and I am 11 weeks pregnant. Um, I'm just going to dive right into my symptoms so I can try to make this video as quick as possible. <laughs> um, I think on my last video, I don't know if I said it or not, but on my last video I was experiencing a lot of um, cramps, like toe cramps really weird but I would get a cramp like a really 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 strong cramp in my big toe <laughs> and it would lift up and I could not even if I pulled it with my hand like I could not pull my toe back down and um that was going on from week four through week seven thank god that's over um week eight um, fatigue, <laughs> that's like my strongest symptom, <laughs> um, extreme fatigue, uh, nausea, at that point I was just getting nauseous, um, just when I didn't eat on time, if I went too long in between meals, I would get nauseous, um, frequent urination, I would still have food aversions, um, where I didn't want to eat, cook food for some reason, it just made my stomach feel upset um week nine and ten <sighs> nauseous times a hundred it just kicked up like to a whole different gear at, at that point I would have to start or I had I'm sorry at that point I started having to bring bags with me to work like because I, I would feel like I'm, I'm gonna puke in the car on my way to work so I know it's disgusting, but, you know, we all go through that being pregnant. Um, still fatigue. I'm tired every single day. Um, during the day, <laughs> when I come home, I'm tired. Um, I wake up, I'm tired. <laughs> so, it's I'm just always tired. Um, that's probably one of the reasons why, or the number one reason why I haven't made a video lately because I'm always tired. Like I'm just super exhausted. And on weekends, I don't want to do anything, but my husband, <sighs> he likes to, you know, <laughs> get into all kind of stuff on the weekends and I'm his partner. So he drags me along. Um, if I had my way, I would stay in bed all day Saturday and all day Sunday and get back up and go to work on Monday. <laughs> in any case, um, um, I've also been having like really, really weird dreams over the past couple of weeks. Nothing, you know, bad or anything, but just really weird dreams. It's crazy. Um, I've also been experiencing lots of growing pains. Oh my gosh. Lots. I, <laughs> it's so weird because no matter what, like initially, um, like week nine and well, week eight, nine, week eight, nine, and a little bit of ten, I started. I was feeling growing pains mainly when I was just at work and I was sitting up. But when I come home, excuse me, y'all feel like something is on my chest. Anyway gas but it just doesn't want to come out sorry um I would feel the growing pains when I'm at work sitting up um or if I was off from work <sighs> excuse me sorry if I was off from work when I was sitting up I would feel it but when I go home and lay down it wouldn't be as bad um week 10 all of that changed it didn't matter whether I was at work sitting up laying down home whatever I would feel it all day in my stomach like my lower you know abdomen area and also in my back I mean it's crazy but I'm like wow this uterus must really be growing fast <laughs> because it's a lot of stretching going on um still have um I'm still having food aversions when it comes to cooked food um excuse me i'm sorry oh i have a hard time eating um cooked food like 
rice and, you know, regular stuff that we cook every day. Um, the one thing that I can eat without getting sick is um, fruit. I eat fruit, like, all day long. Um, I have to have applesauce. Like, I cannot go a day without having mango-flavored applesauce. <laughs> That's like the best thing in the world. Um, I eat applesauce every day. Still eat grapes, um, cantaloupes, watermelon. You know, just fruit, regular fruit. Um, I, I've been having like a weird craving. <laughs> I don't know if you all are familiar with pickled okra. I went to H-E-B and bought like three jars of pickled okra. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, my husband just sits back and laughs. He's like, it's just so funny to sit back and watch you eat stuff that I've never seen you eat in 14 years. I'm like, yeah, it's part of pregnancy. Um, what else is going on? Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, as far as my... Um, meds I'm still taking Lovenox those shots <laughs> yeah I'm still doing PIO shots hopefully excuse me <sighs> y'all see fatigue is still my number one symptom um, hopefully within the next two weeks I should be off of the PIO shots and um, we'll see at my next appointment um, I still take, uh, metformin once a day for poly, not, yeah, polycystic ovaries. Um, still taking prenatal vitamins and baby aspirin. That's it for my meds. Um, like I said, I'm going to continue to take the Lovenox until I'm like 34 weeks. So that's not going anywhere. Um, and I don't have another appointment until October 6th, which is like, about two weeks away a little bit less than two weeks oh yeah 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 so I ordered something off of the internet this little Doppler anyway this is um a Sonalon B Doppler and um, it allows me to hear the baby heartbeat. I had to get it because I'm like, initially the doctor said she wanted to see me um, once per week since, you know, with my history and with um, going through IVF and blah, blah, blah. Um, and with me starting this new job, there's no way I can take off like once a week to go to the doctor. I know, you know, everybody's going to have their opinion on it, but... I mean, I can't take care of a baby if I don't have a job. <laughs> so I need to work. Um, bottom line is I push my appointments out. So um, my next appointment is October 6th. Um, and in between appointments, I still wanted to hear the baby's heartbeat and, you know, know that everything is okay. Although I've still been having symptoms and feeling growing pains, I know the baby is growing. Because I have yet to spot, even, like I said, no implantation spotting. I haven't spotted, I haven't seen blood at all since my last period. So, I'm I'm fine. Um, in any case, so I bought this Doppler at 10 weeks. And immediately I was able to um, hear the baby's heart beat. And... Um, I've heard it at the doctor's office, and obviously it sounds a little different on this Doppler. Um, but my husband didn't hear it that day I went to the doctor, so this was his first time hearing the heartbeat, and he has to hear it every single day, so he calls it listening to music. <laughs> so on his way home, he'll text me or call me. He's like, all right, you want to listen to music when I get home? And I'm like, okay, so I'll get the little gel and everything ready, and when he comes home, you know, we listen to the heartbeat. And it's so funny because last night, clearly I can't feel the baby moving. But last night, you can hear the baby moving <laughs> through the Doppler. 
it's like the heartbeat obviously would go away and then you can hear like whoosh, like a big gush like the baby just swam somewhere else and then I'll move the little Doppler over and you'll hear the heartbeat somewhere else so it's like ah god I don't know it just makes me so happy <laughs> such a blessing um but that's it I'm not going to make this video long it's already been 10 minutes y'all know I like those five minute videos <laughs> I don't want to take up too much of your time but I just wanted to um stick my head in and let you guys know that I'm okay um the baby's fine everything is good at this point uh, thank god for that and to let you all know that um i do appreciate your prayers and your continued support and i do still pray for you all and i hope all is going well still a few people that um haven't done updates in a while and i've been thinking about you all and i've been praying for you all so i hope all is well um and i'm not going to get into the list of shout outs today i'm exhausted i just got home from work and I wanted to do a very quick <laughs> update because I knew if I didn't do it today, it probably wouldn't get done until maybe next Friday. So, um, in any case, um, I just wanted to welcome my new subscribers and um, definitely appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys soon. Um, not soon, but probably in the next two weeks. I'm not going to... Y'all know me. I don't do videos every week. Um, I'll make my next video after my appointment on October 6th. So that's, like I said, about two weeks away. Anyway, in the meantime, I'll be lurking around YouTube making comments. I love you guys and I'll talk with you soon. Bye.